in this class we are going to discuss about a ripple up counter so in the last class we introduced about this ripple counter this ripple counter is one of the uh, asynchronous counter which is not having similar clock pulse for each and every flip flop integrated in this so here you can see the structure or uh, circuit of ripple up counter so it contains two flip flops as we are designing two bit two bit ripple counter as i told you in the last class also how many bits we required for counting that many flip flops we need to consider so here we need two bit ripple counter means we required two flip flop same procedure whatever designing procedure is there or whatever operation is there that is exactly same for up to n bit counter n bit ripple up counter so you can apply the same procedure to 3 bit or 4 bit or n bit up counter so here so this is a ripple counter as this is a asynchronous counter we are not having a similar clock pulse here here you can observe clock pulse so here we used a separate clock pulse and here whatever previous output is there previous output or its complement we can take as clock pulse so here whatever clock pulse for second flip flop is there that is coming from output or reference of that output to second flip flop so now as i told you in the last class every time you need to consider toggle flip flops toggle flip flops means either jk or t which are in toggle condition so here you can observe we consider jk flip flops you can consider t also here i consider jk flip flop in toggle condition how it became in toggle means you can observe high voltage line connecting to both j and k so this means every time continuously j and k is equivalent to 1 if j and k is equivalent to 1 means whenever clock is occurred every time that jk flip flops are going to toggle their states that means they already with inputs that flip flops are already given with high voltage inputs to both uh, jk lines that means in toggle condition just waiting for clocks to toggle so whenever clock pulse occur it's going to toggle whenever next clock pulse occur again going to toggle so 0 to 1 1 to 0 like that they are going to toggle so actually first flip flop is going to toggle continuously from 0 to 1 1 to 0 like that because clock here we are giving but here for this flip flop this is dependent upon the value generated here it's going to toggle or not that is dependent upon the value generated here so this is the structure of two bit ripple up counter now we are going to proceed with the process how this is going to count how this is going to count in upward direction we'll see now so for this i am making a truth table with my process so i am considering clock pulse i'm making a small uh, truth table and one thing you need to keep in mind is for any counter the msb is last flip flop and lsb is first flip flop so that means uh, for example after completing your process or you are in process you need to consider the value of that uh, uh, for example if you want to mention which state that is in then you need to code like this for example here you got output 1 and here you got output as 1 or here you got output as 0 say which state it is having what is the state of uh, this counter if anyone asked you then how we need to respond means as i already told you in the last class state of flip flop is nothing but present count of flip flop count is nothing but q2 q1 here don't take q1 q2 q2 q1 like that you need to take msb you need to take so uh, right most side lsb you need to take left most side flip flop output so that means now 0 1 so 0 1 represent 1 the value representing 0 1 is 1 so definitely so the state of flip flop is first state so like that for example if you mistakenly consider q1 q0 like q2 like this then how you will reply to the question means you are going to reply like 101010 means 
you are going to reply like second state that is in that is entirely wrong when flip flop showing 1 0 that is nothing but that is in first state how we are saying that so msb always given by last flip flop and the lsb is given by first flip flop like that you need to take the order i am just telling you the order that you need to take for state calculation now come to uh, the process here i am going to process this flip flop for up counting for that i need to consider clock for a 2 bit counter how many states may be there means uh, 4 states may be there so for 2 bit counter 2 power n states means 2 square states that means 4 states will be there. So for that 4 states to move throughout, uh, throughout that 4 states we require 4 clock cycles because to move from one state to another state for a flip flop it, it uh, require a clock pulse. To move to 4 states means 4 different states means so definitely you require 4 clock pulses. So here I am considering 4 clock pulses like this. So I am considering 4 clock pulses. So you can take in uh, similar duration you can take positive triggered or a negative triggered. Here I am taking a positive triggered for next example I will take a negative triggered. Just uh, Positive triggered means so whenever positive edge of clock, positive edge triggered flip flops I am considering. So whenever positive edge of clock occurs they are going to do their operation that is it. If negative edge triggered means whenever negative edge is there then they, they are going to work. So for this example we will take positive edge triggered flip flops. So here you can take negative edge triggered also. So now if you consider this diagram so with this clock pulses so the operation will be like this i am taking clock pulse and then so already jk inputs are there so here uh, clock and uh, q2 q1 i am considering like this q2 q1 why because q2 is my msb that's why to represent the state value I need to consider MSB first and then initially for any circuit initially we are not giving any inputs and all this means basically those may be in reset condition when clock is not applied so initially the flip flop output is equivalent to 0. So now when clock is there when, when we are applying first clock then what is going to happen? So when we are up, applying clock and as this flip flop is already in toggle condition so when clock is there then it is going to toggle its present state. So I already told you so this is in 0 0 mode initially. Initially 0 0 means so now your flip flop is going to toggle. When clock rising edge occurs, this flip flop is going to toggle and it will make this 0 to 1. That, mean, that means your Q1 will become 1 whenever first clock occurred. Then what about Q2? So now you need to see for Q1 bar. If Q1 is equal to 1, what may be your Q1 bar? If Q1 is equivalent to 1, this 0 is becoming 1 here. After toggling, this 0 is becoming 1. So, here this became 1 and this 1. So, because of this 1, here you are getting 0. So, this is 0 means this is nothing but clock for, uh, clock for next flip flop. So, clock for next flip flop is 0 means that flip flop will remain in the same condition. As I told you when uh, in the introduction of flip flops, if clock is 0 for a flip flop without knowing inputs, inputs may be high or low, the flip flop will remain in the same state which is already in. So as the clock pulse for this in for a cl first clock pulse is 0, so this is going to be in same state. Same state means already in 0, so it will continues to 0 only. Now, so second clock pulse is occurred. For second clock, clock pulse again this is going to toggle. Again this is going to toggle means 1 to 0. It will become previously it is having 1 and it is going to toggle. For second clock pulse Q1 is going to toggle 
to 1 to 0. If this is 0, if q1 is 0, what is the value of q1 bar then it will become 1. This 1 is going to trigger this uh, toggle flip flop, toggle jk flip flop now. Whenever it got uh, 1 in clock pulse, now this is going to trigger. How means? It is going to toggle, that is it. So, just these two flip flops are waiting for clock, that is it. If clock is 1, th those are going to toggle. So, now it became 1 for the second clock pulse. So, now this is also going to toggle. Q2 is going to toggle means from 0 to 1. Then it is going to become 1 now. Now, see the third clock pulse. For example, third rising edge came. Again, this is going to toggle. So, again, this going to toggle means here you are getting 1. If this is 1, here you are getting 0. So, I am writing that for third clock pulse, again Q1 is toggling. So, here when Q1 is equal to 1, Q1 bar is equal to 0. That won't trigger the second flip flop because if here you are having 0, already whatever state that is in, so that will remain as same. So, here already we are having 1, same 1 will continue because the clock pulse for this is 0 now. That is why that, uh, that will continue the previous state as next state. So, now for fourth clock pulse when fourth rising edge came again this flip flop is going to toggle that means it will toggle from 1 to 0. If this is 0 then here you are getting 1. If this is 1 this 1 is going to trigger the second flip flop. So, if second flip flop is triggered whatever the value here is there that is going to toggle again. So, that means for fourth flip flop so your q1 value is going to toggle that means 1 to 0 if this is 0 q1 bar is 1 if this is 1 now this is also going to trigger that means uh, uh, it's going to toggle so that means whatever value is there previous so that is going to toggle means you are getting 0 0 you can observe again your counter is reset when counter is uh, showing 0, 0 means it stopped counting. It is passed through all the states. So, here itself you can stop the counting. This shows you completion of counting. Whenever counter resets means it uh, shows you completion of counting. The previous states uh, shows maximum value of counting. So, this is the process of this ripple up counter. You can see the up counting here. 0, 1, 2, 3. You can uh, see the binary equivalent. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 that means up counting. For example, same process you can consider for n, uh, n bit ripple up counter also. For example, if you want 3 bit then you will take uh, uh, another flip flop here. Same connection will follow like this. That means this Q2 bar is connected to clock pulse of third flip flop and uh, Q3 will be there, Q3 will be MSB then and whatever high voltage logic is there that we are connecting to J3 and K3. So, we will get say 8 states that is from, uh, so here 8 states means definitely you need to consider 8 clock pulses. So, like this according to the number of bits same procedure will continue. The procedure is same for any ripple up counter. So, it will count in upward direction like this.